Hi guys, my name is Brittany and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like makeup, beauty, family videos, fashion, or anything in between, then be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that way you can be notified each time that I post. Thank you for tuning in and today I am going to be doing two videos in one for you. I did a very large Ulta haul the other day and I got some amazing products and some new things to test out for you. But the reason why you're here and what you saw in the title of the video is we are going to be testing out the Urban Decay Long Lasting Ultra Matte Setting Spray. The Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray has definitely been one of my favorites for a very long time, but I have never tried the Ultra Matte Long Lasting one. So this setting spray usually keeps makeup on my skin for over eight hours. It claims to stay on for 12 hours. And this one I think is going to be super good for the summer. It's going to be perfect because in North Carolina that summer heat beats down on us and this is going to help your makeup stay and last really, really long. But I'm a little bit worried about the ultra matte part because I do like my skin to look luminous. I mean, we definitely achieve that usually with highlighter and use matte products, but we shall see. I'm using this with one of my favorite foundations. So let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so to start off with, I'm gonna be using the Beekman 1802 Dewy Eyed Illuminating Eye Serum. Now, as you know from my past couple videos, I absolutely love anything that is illuminating or luminous on my skin, especially because I have such dark circles. So, we are going to be taking about a pea size amount and just rubbing this onto our fingers. And then I'm taking my ring finger and I'm dotting it all up under and around my eye area. This stuff claims to depuff and make your dark circles a little bit brighter. So we are going to just rub that in. And what I have left of it, I'm just gonna put up onto my eyelid. Now that I feel like I have enough of that, then I am going to go ahead and hydrate my skin with the Pharmacy Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. My face has been so, so dry lately. Anytime I go to exfoliate it or um, do anything with my skin, I can see like dry patches around this area on my nose. And it is getting pretty hot outside, so that's a little bit unusual for my skin to be so dry. I think it is some of the medications that I have to take each day that dry out my skin. So, um, I definitely want to make sure that I am staying moisturized and even like towards my eyebrow area, like this area is very, very dry. So, um, we definitely need some extra hydration. This has been one of my favorite face oils. It just makes my skin look so moisturized, so smooth, and it helps my makeup application a lot, actually. A lot of times I will have like, re it'll look like I have like really bad wrinkles up under my eyes once I do my concealer and my powder. And ever since I've been using this face oil, it's really, really helped that eye area as well. I'm just trying to wait until the eye serum dries a little bit, and then I will be placing this on top of it. Okay, I'm going to let this soak in for just a few minutes. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera, and then I'll be right back to show you my next new product. Okay, we are back, and I picked up the HelloFab Coconut Skin Priming Moisturizer. This is supposed to be a base for your foundation. It's supposed to hydrate your skin. It smelled like a very light scent, but it smells very clean. And I'm just taking like a small amount, rubbing it on my fingertips, and then we are going to be applying this and pressing it into the skin. I really, really love First Aid Beauty products. I think that they are amazing. I really, really like their unscented products though, because 
I find that they do not break my skin out, but even like their cucumber melon moisturizer, I mean, it doesn't break my skin out that much. It just helps if I use unscented products on my skin because my skin is so sensitive and it likes to flare up all the time, which I hate, but it's okay. My skin's actually not doing that bad right now besides that huge pimple. Other than that, it's been doing very, very good. So as much as I try out different foundations for you guys on this channel, I am pleasantly surprised that it has been doing pretty well. Okay, now that I have this all rubbed in, I definitely feel super moisturized. I don't know if you guys can tell the way that my face is shining, but I feel very prepped for makeup. I, for once, did not pick up a new eyeshadow palette because I have so many and we are doing a huge project in our backyard. Let me know if you guys want to see that process and how we transformed our backyard within about two weeks. Um, but I am going to try to start saving money when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I get a lot with my BoxyCharm and I will continue to try those out. And I might pick up little palettes here and there. But I really want to get through my mega palettes from my Jaclyn Hill um, one from Morphe and my Bare Necessities palette. And I just bought this Naked Wild West palette not too long ago. So I want to try to get through those. But I am going to go ahead and do my makeup off camera as far as my eye makeup goes. And if you're interested in seeing what that process is like, you can click up here to watch my Naked Urban Decay Ulta haul video because I did a full tutorial and I used I believe seven colors out of the 12 so I really tried my best for you guys so if you're interested in that you can click there but for you guys who have always been on my channel I'm just gonna go ahead and do it off camera and then I'll be back to show you my other new products okay guys so I went ahead and did my eye makeup for today and now I am going to be going in with my favorite foundation anytime that I test out a bunch of new products such as primer setting spray anything I want to go in with this foundation because this is like my tried and true and I know that this foundation works with almost any product it always looks fantastic on my skin so if something happens and it ends up looking bad throughout the day then I know that it's the products that I use either underneath or on top so we are going to be using this and then I am going to set my face with the fit me a Maybelline powder because this and I'm going in with the shade light medium. This loose finishing powder absolutely helps my makeup stay all day long. So these two together are my favorite combination. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on really quickly. And I am just going to take this and swipe it on my skin. I don't necessarily recommend that you do that. Usually I would just pump it onto a brush. But I'm actually running super, super late. So... As usual we are just going to go ahead and put this on all over I'm just swiping it and this is so so full coverage I actually did my first video ever on YouTube um, which is crazy like I can't believe that I did my video like that because I'm so much more comfortable in front of the camera but if you want to go check that out it's all about this foundation and why it's my favorite you can go ahead and click the link above and it will be up there for you okay I'm gonna blend this out with a foundation brush the stuff is so so easy to use it just goes right on covers up everything immediately you don't need to continuously put more on and put more on and try to blend you can literally go over it just like I am with a foundation brush being very very sloppy and it is super super quick and it just makes my makeup routine so much easier and I know that it's gonna look so good and that it's gonna last all day I don't really like to even have to use other foundations but I always want to test out ones and companies are always coming out with new products 
So I definitely want to give other things a fair shot, but to this day, I still have not found a foundation that I like more than this one. Okay. And that's in the shade MN5 in case like you are my skin tone and you want something that's going to make you look tan and that you're going to love. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out and then I'll be right back. I'm going to brighten this look up with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And this is in the shade 120, which is light vanilla. I don't necessarily need concealer with the full coverage foundation. And a lot of times I don't even put anything on. But I want to create this brightness because I am pretty tan now. And because this MN5, I know that you can't see it that well it looks brighter on camera like my skin tone just looks lighter because of my ring light but it is pretty tan looking so I just want to brighten the center of my face up and I'm just gonna blend this out with a beauty blender I just wanted to let you guys know before I put on my powder while I was at Ulta I went ahead and picked up a new powder sponge from the Real Techniques brand I love this. This feels like velvet. I have featured it in a video before, but I definitely recommend if you have not bought one of these and you like to bake or you like to use setting powder all over your face, this is definitely a favorite. It just makes it look so much smoother. So I'm just going to take some powder and all I do is tap the top of it in just like this. I get a really good amount. And then I just start putting it on. So I'm gonna cut my jawline out just like that. And then take the rest of it and blend it onto my face. And this looks so smooth and flawless. And I believe this is only $5.99. Okay, so I went ahead and bronzed and I highlighted and I used the Physicians Formula bronzer in the shade Dark and I used the Essence Pure Nude highlighter just for like a little touch of highlight and I didn't want to show that on camera because I've already used those products several times. Oh, I need to blend in that cheek. That is dark. But it's going to get blended in anyways in just a minute. So, I picked up the ColourPop Super Shock Blush in Count Me In. And y'all, I don't know. I was not thinking it through. I know their Super Shock products are like a gooey consistency. When I saw it, I just thought it was like regular blush. Like a powder blush. So, I picked it up. But don't be scared of anything new. This is probably a mix between a cream and a powder it's almost like a cream consistency but as you put it on it turns into like a powdery texture and this is so so pretty let's see if I can show you it's like has a little bit of a sheen to it but it's this corally pink color which I absolutely love and I am just going to take a blush brush which I use for my bronzer and my highlight and we are going to start back here and just slowly work that in. I think that this is going to be so pretty on. I am a really big fan of the Super Shock products. Sometimes their highlighters look a little bit patchy on my skin if I have any dry spots. So that is not my favorite, but I love their Super Shock shadows. And um, I've heard a lot of good things about their blushes. Whenever I went to check out at Ulta, the lady that was checking me out was like, girl, you picked so many good products and she recommended this one. So, okay. So that is just going to help bring out that cheekbone and it added such a pretty sheen. I am going to go ahead and layer it up a little bit because I did do my bronzer so dark and then I'll be back. Okay. That is completely done. I think that looks so pretty. I have never tried one of the ColourPop Super Shock blushes, that is a mouthful to say, before. And I think this is so gorgeous. But for the moment that you've all been waiting for and probably why you clicked on this video, 
Today, we not only did an Ulta haul, but we are going to be testing out the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but not just their regular setting spray. When I was there, I saw this, the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Long Lasting Setting Spray. Now, the All Nighter Setting Spray is known to last about 12 hours and make your makeup look completely like pushed in and beautiful and it will keep it on even with a mask on and so if they have an ultra matte long lasting setting spray that's going to help you out through the summer because remember i love my skin to be luminous but i also really really want it to last all day and with the summer heat the trick to that is using a lot of highlighter and using matte products so we are going to be testing this out today this has like an average spray i wouldn't say that it's like a super finely milled mist i don't know if you can see that but it um definitely is not going to like soak your face like the milani one is has a way more aggressive spray so i'm going to hold my hair back and we are just going to spritz i hold it as far out as i can and then I really want to soak the center of my face um, to make sure that it's going to last. And then I just take like a palette and fan my face. You can use like a hand fan like a lot of the influencers use, but this works just fine too. And then I don't have to buy an extra product. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to do my lipstick and then I'll be back. Um, today I will also be doing a wear test for you. So once I get my makeup finished, I'll let you know about all of the details of that. Okay guys, so this is going to be our finished look for today. I love this Super Shock blush. So far this is definitely my new favorite product and I think that I am going to stock up on some different colors to have here for you guys and myself. Um, this is super, super pretty. I absolutely love the Milani blush in Coral Cove, but it's been really hard to find it lately. So final thoughts on this, amazing. Go get your hands on it. It's super easy to use. I use a regular blush brush for it and my cheeks look so good. I've been having such a hard problem finding blushes that are dark enough for me or like that is going to show up in a corally color or that are not patchy. And this is absolutely perfect. So go get your hands on that. Um, I really like that eye serum. I don't know that it brightened up my dark circles, but it kind of pushed, I think it will help with puffiness. It kind of pushed them back and it made me feel refreshed. Um, I love First Aid Beauty, so I definitely recommend the skin primer. I would probably get one in something that is not scented, but I got the coconut milk one and I really, really like it. Um, and the setting spray, I guess we will have to see. So I am not going to be wearing a mask today, so I won't be able to tell you how it works with that, but I do have to work for over nine hours. So I'm going to come back and check in probably on my lunch break. And then after my shift and let you see how my skin looks so far that setting spray has definitely melted in all of my powder that i put on because i put a ton on today and i am loving it so we'll see how it looks after at least a nine hour wear test okay guys so i'm so sorry i did not get to check in on my lunch break i was trying to edit the video and make time for this youtube video but I did eat spicy foods today during my break and my nose was running a little bit. But as you can see, I think that my makeup held up really, really well. I also put my son to bed and I had my hands on my face and everything else. And I think that it looks almost just as good as what it did whenever I left the house with the exception of like my eyeliner being worn off. So I would definitely say that this ultra matte long lasting all-nighter setting spray 
is really really good and I would recommend it even over the regular all-nighter setting spray which I never thought they could come out with one that was better than that one so definitely go out and buy it and yeah I will let you get back to the rest of the video Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you're most excited about. Like what was your favorite product from this video that you think that you're going to go out and buy and be sure to let your friends and family know about my channel and to subscribe because once we hit a hundred subscribers, I will be doing that large giveaway. Thank you guys so much for all of your support as always, and I will see you in my next one.